So here we are. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is one that you guys are probably going to be looking forward to. We've got Dad here with the 2013 Power Stroke, the King Ranch. And we haven't had this truck on the channel in quite a while now in terms of like actually doing something on it. You guys have seen it in pieces of videos between seeing giveaway winners and stuff like that when we're at the other property. But you haven't actually seen anything done to this truck in quite some time. And today, our friends from Pusher got us hooked up with uh, some I'm excited fun about parts. Yeah. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Yeah. So, so if you remember, it was about a year ago when the turbo started showing some signs of uh, problem. <laughs> so we went ahead and we did a retro where we took the factory turbo out and then we had our guys up at Get Lit Diesel. They went ahead and put the retro kit with the 2017 turbo on there, which is a better turbo. And then we didn't do anything fancy as far as the piping at that time because A, I was cheap <laughs> and B, I knew that Jake from Pusher had been working on a system for this for a long time time and he and I in conversation a while back it was kind of like one of those things that's in the works I'm like I'm gonna hold off because I have I'm running pusher in the first gen and running that compound turbo system in nasty red the second gen so I thought let's go ahead and uh, put something fancy underneath this one too so the last thing we did I guess was the turbo thing under the hood and then before that some stuff happened in this area figure it out but then we also are going to be taking out air intake which yeah. that was a good mod for this particular truck I like the way it made it sound but we're gonna be getting rid of this because part of the pusher system is we have our own new system to go, or new, you know, yeah. piece to go with that too. So we just need to get the stuff unpacked, disconnect the batteries, drain the fluids out of the radiator, and then we can get started with popping some stuff in. Heck yeah. So I'm excited about that. You know, cause this is the thing. I mean, look at all this plastic junk. I mean, it's pretty attractive. You can armor yeah. on, I guess if you want to armor on, but when we are done with this project, you're not gonna see any of this plastic junk up here. We're gonna have some shiny new black. This thing sounds like a dragon now when it's just sitting there. I can't wait to hear what it's gonna sound like and how the performance is gonna be afterwards. <laughs> couple of pretty serious mechanics. <laughs> yep. So what we did so far was we took out, we had an aftermarket air intake box here that we just took out. We showed you at the beginning of the film. AFE and power. AFE power. Not as good as pusher I was though. really happy with it, but we've got a new system coming all together. So then what we needed to do was we needed to take off. The instructions are very straightforward, uh, picture step by step. So that's one thing I really like about this is I look at the pictures probably more than I read the words, but it's just kind of self-explanatory. So the one difference here was this piece uh, factory wise is a cold piece, but because we had some work done to it already with the new turbo, they had upgraded already to a piece of uh, metal piping. So we got to take that out. We're loosening the screws now for the plastic manifold. Uh, imagine plastic manifold. Plastic. Anyway, we're going to be taking that out. And then the next step is once we get that out, then we're just basically prepping it for essentially to get all the old crap out so we can put the new shiny black stuff in. So that's where we're at with this is just loosening all the bolts here and then getting it ready to disassemble in its entirety. But just taking out the air box and what we have so far, man, it opened up this engine. Yeah, it almost looks like a first yeah, gen. It, yeah, it takes up. You don't realize how much of the engine bay, like plastics when you see them on the lot is just for intake stuff. It's just tons of plastic. Oh, and the other thing we did do was because there's a coolant rerun, just a slight one, we had to drain the coolant down there as well. So um, there's just a little valve underneath on the driver's side. So it it's basically straight, straight below the headlight on the back, on the driver's side. So just loosen it up and then it drains into a bucket and that way we're ready to go with that. So then once we get this all done and put together, then it's also due for an oil change. So yeah. how can be in set. Okay, so here we are. When, when did we check in last? An hour and a half ago, two hours ago? It's been a while <laughs> and believe it or not, not a ton more progress has happened, but <laughs> the most difficult part is Ford's little cluster of spider monkey web action going on over here. I don't even know what to call it. It's just crazy. It's just like the amount of wiring and cables and stuff made it tough to get that hose in there. It doesn't help that me and my dad both have like extremely 
my massive hands. So like the spacing, I was like, if I had some a little bit smaller hands, I could do this, but I couldn't without having to remove the battery. Just unplugging those harnesses, which is really not hard. We had that in and out. I think after we removed the battery and those harnesses, it took 10 minutes maybe. Right. And this, what we're doing now is it's it's a different, it's a rerouting system for the cooling. Yep. So it has nothing to do with really this, but we, it's a little, basically a, a network of hoses that one went through here, one connected over here, and then one to this uh, one piece that comes up off of here. Yeah. And so Pusher has basically a little delete system to reroute that, which I like the idea, but it's just, it made it super hard because of how these clips are positioned back up underneath there, so. But like I said, once we remove the battery and those quick detach, I mean, these are really easy to detach and a couple of those zip ties, yeah. it freed up a ton of space where you can get down in there and pop them off. But just so you know, if you're trying to save a bunch of time, it's way faster just doing that. So anyways, that's where we're at at this moment. Not sure how much more we're gonna be doing today for this video. We got a lot of other stuff to get, get going to. He's gotta run to the office. I gotta run and film some stuff and move some more stuff out of our house. But there's where we are at for now. And I'll pick back up here when we're moving along with the rest of it. Okay, so I'm back out here in the shop. It's now like 8.30 and dad had to go to work earlier today. I had to do a bunch of running around. I had to go pick up some bales to feed our horses. I had to run across town to pick up my mower that was not running. So I had to ratchet strap it. And then with two straps and ratchet one tight, loosen one, ratchet one, loosen one, go all the way up, whatever. Get the thing onto the trailer, which is a pain in the butt. Took it to the shop, got that fixed. All of a sudden, there's just tons of stuff went on. Now I'm here, I'm back. So we're gonna get to installing the rest of this pusher intake kit for this truck. And we pretty much got everything done up to the point to where now it's just a matter of reinstalling parts. So this is where it gets interesting. This is where it gets exciting. So we are going to start to work on the installation of these parts right now. You've got your air filter, you've got the part where your air filter mounts onto, and you've got some more piping as well as the main Y pipe. I'm guessing it's not actually called a Y pipe, but it's shaped like a Y, but it is your intake that is mounted just over top of the turbo in the truck, which your turbo might not look like this if it's on a 16, you know, 15, 16, you know, the 14, 13, you know, any of the other six sevens, 11 up. This is a 2017 and up style turbo. So, you know, all the same principles apply though. The kit doesn't change just because of that. But anyways, let's get on to proceeding with the installation of this kit. And I will pick back up with you guys once we are moved along a little bit further. And then I'll kind of explain to you if I had any difficulties and point out the things that I did throughout the process. Okay. What up? <laughs> what up? <laughs> All right, so we're back out here at the King Ranch installing our pusher system here. And so far, I'm loving the way it looks. Now, performance-wise, of course, we're not there yet. But in terms of looks, um, let me try to get a little bit closer and I'll show you what we have been doing so far and kind of almost like a step-by-step -step regarding kind of what has to happen. So the first thing if we backtrack was we ripped out the aftermarket uh, air intake and then we disassembled everything off of the turbo, the plastic manifold cover that was there had to unscrew the screw that was for the dip tank. And then what we did was we rerouted coolant lines to go from that pain in the butt little area back way in there, which with these big hands, it's hard to get back in there. But what we did was there was this uh, a tube that would come out of right here and then it feeds over and goes straight up and then kind of winds back throughout there. So we did a little bit of a delete based off of the system and how that works, which I really like how simple and how clean it really is. And then the next thing that we had to do was back over on this side, there's a line that we have now down here, which essentially you take that off where it used to go into the horn, if you will. And now we just basically have a, a blowback tube. Is that what it's considered a blow by tube on like 12 valves, 24 valves. His 7.3 had one. It just went right down on the driver's side and it just kind of like... It drops it off rather than feeding it back into the system itself. Yeah. So it's a little bit of a reroute, which is nice. And so we got this big horn here. I love the black. You know, I was thinking, you know, between the black or the uh, titanium kind of a look, the grayish, but I already have that on nasty red. And then I also have the red on the first gen. So I like how this black is really coming together. And so this is a 2017 turbo that we had put in um, not quite a year ago coming up on that. We're basically just putting on the uh, hot air side right now. And this kit can be broken down different ways, like in terms of like the coolant bypass, that's one part of it. If you choose to do that, you don't have to. This truck now has just over 100,000 miles, so the plastic crap actually works. But in the same sense, this is just a lot better off. And now we're just putting the, the piping in for the, the hot side. And then once we get that done, we're gonna then drop it down into, put the cold air side on, and then hook up the um, intake. 
air right. intake and hopefully it's that's pretty much it then so we're running lower on parts which is a good sign yeah, so we've got <laughs> shiny parts on there but that's uh, that's pretty much all we have to do left which it looks simple so um, so far I mean the, the system itself has been simple to put in it's just the difficult things have been us just trying to maneuver ourselves on a lifted truck also for bolt locations being like tucked way back under the firewall and again when you have big hands you're trying to use tools and stuff like that you can't get back in. It's tough on any truck. You're going to find something that you don't like. So that's just kind of how it goes when you're working on stuff. So we're just going to keep at it. See if we can get this thing done here in the next few minutes. So what you doing? <laughs> Tightening the clamps for the sixth time. Yeah. You ever get in a rush and you do things wrongly? Not because instructions say it wrong, but because you just do it wrong. You just kind of look at pictures and realize sometimes you should actually read something. <laughs> We tried to put the wrong boot in the wrong place. It was the right boot in the right place. And then over tightening, and like over -tightening to 90 foot pounds and snapping the band. But then also while he was screwing up that, which now is great. It's done now. You'll notice here, done. ew, look at this. Yeah. So all this was, this is a really neat looking uh, piece here. It goes just right onto the turbo, as you can see. And then if I can swing the camera on here, it attaches down here, two bolts basically. So it's nice and sturdy on there and it's looking amazing. So that's what we have there. And we're just gonna continue onward to put the air intake and then this cold pipe on there. There she is. Tell me that doesn't look good. It looks good. It looks really good. You know what the best part of this kit is? And you just pointed it out when we were done. What's the best part? That it's done. That's, that, <laughs> that's a very, that's a, that is a very good part. What's, what's the second best part? As soon as you look in the engine bay, what's the first thing you notice? It's freaking open. It's open and you can see the turbo. You can see the turbo. On a Ford. Yeah. A new Ford. <laughs> <laughs> Wide open. Big massive turbo just sitting on the top. I've been looking forward to getting this system in. Jake told me he was working on it for a long time over a pusher. I've held out. We had some cheap piping in there first, but now we got this thing and I can't believe how just clean it looks now. It just didn't seem right. It's like you're looking under the hood of this thing and you're like, there's got to be more to it. It's a, it's a newer six set. Like there's got to be more stuff there. You know what I mean? It's just tons of plastic. You're probably going to hear a lot of turbo whistle now. So much more air to push through. That's the idea. Any other difficulties that we ran into? Not really. Other than making sure we lined up this lower boot. That's just because it's in a tough spot. But yeah, I mean, overall, that, I mean, big hands made it difficult for some of the spots. But yeah, the hardest part was just lining this up, which wasn't that difficult, but just trying to get down in there. But other than that, it's, it was fine. Probably. If you ask me, the most difficult part it wasn't even difficult it was just time consuming is taking out the 30 freaking bolts holding the plastic <laughs> piece on top but once you get that out it's pretty straightforward wide part goes in the back short one goes here longer three inch one goes there and then your intake piping connects and that's pretty much it yeah it just it looks good well everybody we're done with the install tonight and we're gonna have to do another video here soon with a first drive right dad it's just it's like 11:45 right now so we both got to get up early again so we're gonna have to end this out now we're gonna get another video here soon with a first drive of the truck and how it drives and runs and all that good stuff with this kit you might even see some fuel mileage differences and other stuff like that so hopefully you enjoyed the video smash the thumbs up comment down below also do not forget if you want to check out this kit or any of pushers other stuff we will leave a pusher website link in the description below go check this stuff out if you liked what you saw here they might have something for your truck as well also if you want to enter to win the 7.3 power stroke 10 x entries are live only until march 1st which if you check your calendar you've only got a couple days a day or two and then that's over so get in while you can if you want 10x entries because that deal will not be back the rest of the giveaway and that's the best entry deal we're running guys thank you so much i'll catch you in the next video peace